Building houses for either private or public purposes ideally should come with toilet facilities. Unfortunately, according to the 2010 Population and Housing Census, only 30% of homes in Ghana have access to improved toilet facilities. As a result, open defecation is still widespread in the country. Also, there are constraints of space in the construction of toilets in already built environments and the idea of converting rooms to toilet facilities does not give economic incentive to property owners. The situation has led to challenges with waste management in the country, especially in areas where population density is high. The provision of public toilets by the assemblies to serve domestic purposes flouts proper planning, leading to long queues in attending to nature's call. Though it is becoming common to find imported plastic mobile toilets in some parts of the country, waste management is still a headache. Today, there seems to be light at the end of the tunnel as the Institute of Industrial Research of the CSIR is building these portable bio toilets using local bamboo. This bamboo is not imported, they grow widely here in Ghana. An estimated 35% of the total landmass area of the country is said to be home to bamboo, with the western region leading. This technology does not come in to only solve our sanitation issues, it goes beyond that. Training people can give them jobs, and so uh, these are important. And if I may add a third one, those ones imported into the country are usually made up of plastics. But we are using local solution. It is well ventilated, as you can see here, and that uh, is going to give us employment. And at the same time, we are solving a major problem of sanitation in the country. This is just a monkey-proof concept. It is that basic that you do not need to have the high IQ to be able to do this. So one of uh, our plans will be that we will be bringing people from every aspect of the, every part of the country and then train them on how to construct this on their own. And that in itself can generate income for them. The portable bio toilet with a waste treatment facility has the capacity to minimize the frequency of dislodging, avoid the challenges of space, and mobility of the facility allows tenants to be able to relocate their toilets when they move. Public spaces like community terminals with limited space to accommodate conventional toilet designs can adopt these environmentally friendly mobile toilets. On our highways, there are no toilets. I walk on the mountains on Aburi every weekend and there are no toilets. At the bus stations, there are no toilets. In the secondary schools, we can come up with kind of toilets like this one that will be able to help solve the open defecation, low-income communities in Ghana. On the average, it takes two days to construct one of these facilities. Even though made from local bamboos, this stage of its construction comes with some form of challenges. The challenges is the splitting, the treatment, and we would want a more polished bamboo. For now, we do not have the sophisticated uh, machinery to process these bamboos into flat pieces and polished ones. So we are using local simple tools like the cutlass and, yes, yeah, very simple tools. We can split these bamboos and then flatten them and even treat them in the process. In that case, it will make the time span for constructing the mobile toilet very short. The Institute of Industrial Research of the CSIR believes that it has the magic wand to the sanitation challenges facing the country. For now, it has a message not just for the government, but also for the business community. We in CSIR, Institute of Industrial Research, are looking for partners, investors, 
to come to our aid, come partner with us. Let us develop this further in terms of research. Let us sell this because it makes a very good business case. Sell this to communities, the low-income communities in particular, so that we can all help solve the environmental problems that we see, especially with open defecation, whilst at the same time benefiting from generating gas and uh, a compost for our farms. So the simple message is, if you have any interest in this, please do the possible best to come and support CSIR, Institute of Industrial Research, to develop this product further, because it's going to solve a lot of the environmental problems. Do you have bamboo in your area? And did you think you had nothing for the one district, one factory? No. The Institute of Industrial Research of the CSIR is telling us that if we have bamboo in our area, when we partner with them, they can help us construct this mobile wooden toilet. There are 31 general and about a thousand species of bamboo. Bamboo can grow on different altitudes and under various climate conditions, but it prefers tropical climate. All the plant needs to do is fill the cell with mostly water, which bamboo, as members of the grass family, are very efficient at doing. Bamboos are the fastest growing plants, growing up to nearly 3 meters in a day for a few species. Although the kinds of bamboo that grow in Africa are not hostile, some varieties that grow in colder climates are. It can be very difficult to get rid of the network of roots when the plant is no longer wanted. In Ghana, the bamboo plant yields extremely strong, light and flexible. In the rural areas where they grow, bamboo trees are often looked at as just another plant growing in backyards. With this initiative from the CSIR, it is expected that when well embraced, it will go a long way not to only put food on the table of families, but also reduce the importation of plastic mobile toilets into the country and serve as employment for the country's teeming unemployed 